Good morning. Uh, this is Aaron Rubel, and we're going to talk a little bit about wrapping guides on a bamboo fly rod today. Uh, up to this point, uh, under the mentorship of master rod maker Ron Barch, I handcrafted this bamboo fly rod, and this is the what we call the butt section. And it's uh, six equilateral triangles planed down to within one thousandth of an inch in uh, the diameter and <clears throat> uh, bonded. Each of those six pieces are bonded. And then we uh, put the ferrules on, cork grip, varnish it, and now we're to the step where we're putting the guides on. And that all comes from a, a column of bamboo, as, as you would picture it growing. So today, we have, in the process, I spaced out the guides per the specification of a 7 foot 2 inch rod. And we're going to wrap these guides. I've already got uh, one one and a half done and so uh, we're gonna unwrap this piece of tape and we don't need it anymore because I finished the wrapping on the other half so that'll hold it in place before I put these guides on I filed I filed down the guides such that they were there were no square edges and they were chamfered just a little bit so the thread rides up easily on the feet. So tools, we've got a, a razor blade, got a pair of scissors, got my nylon double out thread, and we got a little nifty fixture here. Also have a, uh, a burnishing tool, <clears throat> just uh, made out of wood, a soft material to kind of squeeze the threads together, the thread together as we go through the process. Okay, so first thing we do <clears throat> is uh, we want a few extra inches of thread because we're going to use this, and we want to place it about an eighth of an inch away from the, the foot. And what I've got here is a, uh, a, a little uh, piece of paper with an eighth of an inch marking. And then keeping tension on the rod we're going to take a couple wraps here of this thread and uh, I'm just going to check my, okay, that's pretty close. Just going to check there, there we go. Okay, if you've tied flies before, yeah, I just used similar technique a couple times. And then bring this over and then we're going to wrap it such that it ties in that tag end just a couple times. And then I will take this razor blade, and this is important because if there's any frays that are left over, it will show up in the varnish when we put the varnish on. So we want tension on it, and we want to get it right down there. Difficult. 
guilty with this one. Okay, we're going to keep this to the side, this tag that I just cut off because we're going to use it at the end to finish our wrap. We're going to use it and I'll show you that. So then we would just want to pack this together, making sure it's all tight because we don't want any, we don't want any gaps. Uh, nice and neat. Okay, I'm going to check one more time the dimension. And you can see there it's an eighth of an inch as I. Yep, that's good. So now the process goes a little bit quicker. Once we have that not done, and we just wrap wrap this around. Every few wraps will tighten up the we'll tighten up the thread. And once we get it nice and straight, then we can go a little bit faster. Just before you get to the foot, you want to uh, make sure that it's nice and tight here. Because you don't want the foot to show through the thread. That's a sign of low quality. So there we go. It's looking good. And when we get down to the end, we're going to, uh, now, we're going to uh, use our tag end to create a loop. We're going to put it through underneath, like so, and wrap it in. it's tight okay <clears throat> wrap a few more times <clears throat> until it reaches the tangent the the fillet of the uh, the guide One more packing, and I think we can do one more wrap. Yep. Okay, then uh, I'm going to keep tension on it, let these fall down. I'm going to press my finger up against this so that it doesn't come unraveled when I cut it.
and then I'm going to put this tag end through the loop made okay And then I'm going to take these two and I'm going to pull them through. And now we have our almost finished guide wrap. And now you want to take this tag end here that we pulled through and you want to pull it in the direction that we just pulled it through, adding tension and cut this off and what that does is when you have tension pulling this way when you cut it it pulls it inside and you have no phrase so this now is about equal in length as the other one so you want each one of these wrappings equal and so now we have a finished guide. Later I'll put some varnish on that to secure it. And uh, that's, the, that's the process of wrapping a guide on a bamboo fly rod.